Today on the channel, I got claws, and I can use them. From the X-Men animated series Mondo Collectibles line, we got the San Diego Comic-Con 2023 Logan exclusive. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another X-Men animated series Mondo Collectibles unboxing and review and today on the channel we got something extra special we got the San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive Logan but for all your Mondo collectible needs that are not exclusives make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free and every once in a while the Entertainment of the Earth of the world get things like this as we've seen so of course we always have the Mondo timed editions and some of that kind of stuff that don't go everywhere but then you get alternate versions maybe with less stuff that go to the Entertainment Earth but if you really want uh, the ones you got to go to the San Diego Comic Cons and get the pre-orders around that time and of course go to Mondo's website as well but of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna box it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and as i'm filming this we're a day away from x-men 97 on disney plus x-men mania gonna be at an all-time high right now we got new hasbro figures out and of course the mondo line continues to grow We've unboxed Wolverine, Magneto, Jubilee on the channel. Soon to get Logan. I still got Sabretooth to unbox, Gambit to unbox. We got a lot of Mondos to unbox on the channel. We'll get to them eventually, of course, as you guys do know. But Logan, an all-time favorite of mine. Of course, Wolverine, my favorite comic book hero of all time. Always loved this figure back in the old school Toy Biz days back in the day. Always was fun for a street gear Wolverine, and this is really a perfect exclusive for something like San Diego Comic Con, because let's be honest, most people want Wolverine in his traditional suit, but this is a cool, nice one to have alongside of that, especially if you're an animated series fan, where he wore this a time or two in there as well. But let's dive into the packaging on this one. Very uniform style packaging on these Mondo ones. You got kind of the black and white art behind it, X Men animated series, all that kind of stuff. Then you got Logan just bursting his way out of there, looking very, very cool. You do get the Mondo seal right there. And then you do got the exclusive, of course, being a part of San Diego Comic Con 2023. We'll see what happens in 2024. Heck, I'm still on the fence. Am I going to go to San Diego Comic Con 2024? I got to get that figured out sooner. Rather than later, we'll see. I don't know. Does anybody want me to stay in their apartment? Well, you want me to sleep on your floor? Come on, give me a spot. Who knows? We'll see what happens there. Uh, but it is 1-6, of course, Mondo, X-Men Animated Series, Marvel logo at the very top. 1-6 scale action figure looking good over there at the top as well. And then on the back, we get a little bit more card art, kind of that kind of stuff going on. I don't think there's anything to read back here, really. Logan and Silver Fox, Wolverine, he inhales. Action, Wolverine turns and yells. He's got a little helper monkey down here. I'm here for a helper monkey. And of course, the power of magnets compels us as usual. We do get the magnets that seal the front in together. Always looking very cool. The window box is always kind of a waste of time, in all honesty, with the Mondo figures. They're always protected and always blocked, so you really can't see anything. I guess you can take everything out and put it back in, make it look the way you want to. I guess choose your own adventure once again. Do you got a little bit of blurb? Let's see what it says here in the old blurb department for old Logan. He's named after a mountain, yet he stands just five foot three. Wolverine, just a little guy. Uh, his mutant ability to heal has let him known a hundred, let him know a hundred years of love and, of course, loss, and he may live to know a hundred more. In uniform as Wolverine, Logan is a warrior, a member of Charles Xavier's X Men, the last best hope for the future of mutant kind. Off duty, he is a simple, a simply a man, a damaged, ferocious romantic who wears his emotions on his sleeve. Burdened with the acute senses of a forest predator transformed against his will into a fighting machine, Logan is armed on the inside, yet his heart is still vulnerable. He perseveres. Ah, that was a little sappy for me, I gotta be honest. A little sappy for my Logan, but it is what it is. There's no lies detected on that one, as they do say. But I'm gonna get him out of the package here. See what's going on. Can't wait to dive in. Like I said, big Wolverine guy, so this is playing a lot of hits for me, of course. But we got the old double heavy plastic prison. I'm going to get him out of this plastic prison. And we'll be back talking all things Logan. 
All right, we got Logan out of the package. We're going to start off with the accessories, but this one's shaping up to be pretty cool right out of the package. Once again, I might be biased. I'm a big Logan Wolverine guy, but really cool some of the stuff here. And I will say, I don't know if we've ever had a Mondo figure more protected. He's got uh, you know, protection underneath his jacket, underneath his hands, over his head, all over the place. Everything was very well protected in here. So there was no chance of paint scuffs, damaged things. I mean, it could have happened, but didn't happen here. It was very, very well protected. So that was the first thing I noticed unboxing this bad boy. And then we'll get into the rest here with the figure. But let's start with some of these accessories. And we do get a little X-Men stand. I think that is brand new here. We haven't seen this before. It would have been really cool if they were all uniform with this but it is a nice little x stand the mondo doll stand we've seen these before we see them with the he-man we see them with the x-men figures and so forth but always nice good quality and you want to protect these figures they're expensive you want to use as much protection to hold these guys down as you can we all know that so we do get the little stand right there uh, part of the course for mondo except a little bit of extra bells and whistles with this one which i'm here for then we get into the hand department. We got two fists of Logan Fury out of the package here. But then we get some different hands going on. Some very interesting stuff. Now, every single one of these hands have the spot for the claws. And of course, Wolverine, as we do know, we knew it back in the Toy Biz days, he's got claws. He can use them, as we do know. But we got the spot for the claws on all these. And coming separately here are sets of claws. So we get... Let's see here. One, two, three, four sets of claws going on right here, which is pretty cool. You can plug them in, take them on, do what you want to do. Put up one claw if you want, put up two. Do it however you want to do it. Very cool idea here, and you get a little extra special holder for these, I guess we'll call them here, because you don't want to lose these claws. Now, I wonder, could you have used just one or two? I guess it's nice of them to give us this many, but you could really just mix and match. You're not going to be using all these at one time, but it is what it is. Very cool to see with these right here, and I guess we'll dive through these hands really quick. Uh, they're all basically the same kind of thing. They all got the uh, Wolverine uh, top parts out where the claws come from, of course. We got two Fists of Fury here. Then you got two splayed out hands, hand shaking hands, waving hands, whatever you call them right there. We do get a pistol hand. We get two pistol hands. Very interesting. Doesn't come with a pistol or anything, but trigger hands right there if you need them. And then we do get two gripping hands going on here. Nothing to grip in here though, however. And then we do got kind of hand shaking open hands, kind of open hands here. So truly is a choose your own hand adventure. The only set of hands that doesn't come with the Wolverine claws are the ones that are on him, the two fists. So it really depends how do you want to display this guy. And there's different ways to display this one. And we're going to dive into that here in a second. Now, of course, we do get extra set of arms. I guess I'll do the arms. We'll do the heads first and we'll get into that. But right out of the package, we get Wolverine all day long. You know whose hair this is. This is Wolverine's hair. He's got those big old points on the side looking very, very cool. There was a moment in time in my life around high school that I wore my hair like Wolverine. It was a lot of product every day to get it kind of up on the sides. Oh, it was a dangerous look. I don't know if I recommend it or not. But it does look good on Wolverine. Very interesting because it's got the animated shell, cell shading going on. It's got a little bit of blue highlights against it where we usually think of it pure, pure black. It's like a darkish black blue throughout, even in down to his sideburns. Then he's got an angry face because we all know Logan. Not a happy guy. We read the card on him. He's just not a happy guy. So he's got kind of a, a stoic kind of grumpy face is what I would call that one there. He does got two ears. does got two eyes. does have a nose and a mouth. So he's playing a lot of those hits right there as well. But it looks good. There's no mistake this for anybody else now the second head maybe the head i'll probably use here i'm gonna give him a little personality in his street gear but you got some teeth showing he's main he's mad he's angry he's a little bit uh, perturbed is what he is he's got the eyebrows flaring there as well uh, same kind of hair going on of course as you would imagine but a little bit more upset version of logan is what we got over here so very cool to see that now we get into this figure here and we dive in, the first thing we notice is that famous uh, Wolverine yellow shirt underneath. A lumberjack shirt, I guess, but it's the yellow and black attack, X-Men colors. Looking good, looking very iconic. And then, of course, just as iconic is his fur-lined jacket over the top. Looking very cool. It's got the shading throughout, as we know. Uh, got some sculpted in pockets, things like that. Looking very, very cool. Nice brown color. Really on brand for Logan around this time, of course. And then we work our way down into the jeans. He's just got his blue jeans on. He looks like a guy that be sitting at a bar somewhere just drinking after his shift or something. He's been working in the log fields or the railroad or something. Who knows what he's been up to, but looks like a guy that would just fit in at a bar drinking. We can just see the animated series, comic book, whatever. We can see it playing itself out. So it is a very nice street gear Wolverine, of course. Got the shading throughout on the pants all the way down to his brown boots down here. Got a little steel toes on the old cowboy boots down here looking very, very nice. We talked about it. These are the only two hands that are regular human hands, we'll call it here, with the Fists of Fury. 
but looking very nice there as well. Articulation, head removable, back force, side to side. Looks really good, feels good. Arms go all the way around. Arms removable, we'll get into that in a second here. Hula hoop at the top, not a ton of articulation. Really nothing at the waist, traditional. We do get the legs, oh my gosh, extremely tight in the leg department. They do go up a little bit, very tight. Double jointed knees, pretty good on that movement, of course. Oh, very tight though at the hips, so make note of that. A little side to side, a little up and down on the ankles. No holes in the feet, anything like that. We do got the doll stand, as we do know for him. But pretty much all your articulation hits. This isn't really a toy you're sitting here articulating and playing with. This is more of a statue toy. I think that's what most people do with Mondos. I don't think there's a lot of people giving these Mondos to their you know, kindergartners to play with. I don't think so. You guys shout out in the comments if you do. But the cool thing on this one is the arms easily removable. And I'm thankful they just go in and out very, very easily here. But the two arms easily removable. And then the jacket just slides on off right there. And then here we go. We get diving right into it. You plug in this arm. We'll see how easy that goes in. Very easy. We're here for that. Very easy. We're here for that as well. Oh, there we go. Very tight, though. Very tight. And then I guess we'll throw a couple of hands on him just to have some hands so he doesn't look strange here. And there we go. Got to find a left and right hand. Oh, very tight. There it is. So then you can also display him without his coat if you want him just this version here. So really a two-in-one figure in a lot of ways. To me, I think you got to leave the coat on. The coat's a big part of the personality. However, he's squaring off against Sabretooth or something like that. You could easily have him ready to go. I think this does look very, very nice. I'm here for this Wolverine. Looking very, very fun, very cool. He's got the forearms with, of course, a little bit of hair on him. Wolverine, a hairy guy, as we do know. You got the sleeves all rolled up here. He's ready. He means business just very very fun choose your own adventure logan figure i'm here for this and this worked really really well as a san diego comic-con exclusive it's not the deepest of cuts but i think a good deep cut for an exclusive like a san diego comic-con or a power con something like that but just a fun figure if you're a wolverine logan fan like myself this is playing a lot of hits for you is it the most iconic obvious absolutely not of course this is probably the most iconic wolverine look that we unboxed this on the channel many moons ago uh, but, of course, a very good Wolverine. If you're only getting one, you probably got to have this one. However, this is good for Wolverine fans like me. Happy to have this in my collection. Happy to finally get it unboxed. So like I said, San Diego Comic-Con 2023, finally getting around to it here today. And we'll see what happens with Wolverine in X-Men 97 just a day away as I film this video here. And maybe tonight, if uh, you're watching this the night it drops. Who knows? But Wolverine, looking good. I'm here for it. But what about you? Did you pick this up? Did you even know this existed? Long game, no game? Let me know your thoughts on old Wolverine, Mondo, Logan, I guess. Logan, technically. Logan. Wolverine's over here. I get it. I get it. But let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over there on the old Patreon channel. Patreon, best way to support this channel and all the content it does bring. Of course, Patreon has always got all the new stuff, dog stuff, bonus stuff, pizza reviews, you name it, it's all going on over on the old Patreon. And I appreciate everybody supporting the channel. You can also support the channel at Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget, Barnes & Noble hardcover exclusive, soft cover over on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. It is my book, The Complete Guide to the Jax Class Superstar Series. Almost 700 pages of content right here. Pick it up over there. Thank you guys and gals for your support. And if you do need an autographed copy, hit me up over on social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Logan and the X-Men, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.